let's talk about medication. I'm a believer and supporter of medication, but we also, uh, I'm always a little skeptical about the dark side of medication because the, there's many dangerous risk factors with medication. So is there any dark side to Alzheimer's medications that people need to know about that their doctors may not mm -hmm. be telling them? Right. So I think the the medications that are, there are two major classes as that with Alzheimer's medications. One is a class where the it promotes brain cell health, and then there's another class which increases the level of acetylcholine, a chemical in the brain, and it's the second class that has the most side effects, and there are multiple different medications in that class. Some come as a patch, some come as a pill. Um, the biggest side effects in that class are nightmares. Patients can have vivid nightmares. Um, and so it's important for them to know about it. They can have a st stomach upset and loose bowels, um, which can sometimes cause an accident. So it's important for them to know about that. And is that the same for patch versus pill, or does the um, does the patch relieve some of the bowel issues? Sometimes the patch is better tolerated, uh -huh. uh, but the patch can also give you a rash. So mm -hmm. that's important to take into mm -hmm. consideration. And I don't know about you, but for me, if I have to take something, I'd prefer to take it by mouth because sometimes doing a patch is something that I don't necessarily translate into a medication uh, regimen. Mm. It's harder to do. Um, I try to, the other kind of interesting side effect that happens with these medications that is very poorly known is that patients will have a drippy nose. And sometimes the drippy nose gets stays the all of the time that they're on the pill and they can go get unnecessary procedures because they think they're having some kind of allergic reaction. Mm. They go on medication for it and they sometimes have a metallic taste or they lose taste in their mouth and that also is medication related. So I try to talk to them about these symptoms and try to start them on a low dose keep them on the low dose for as long as possible, sometimes six weeks, sometimes eight weeks, before I raise the dose to the higher dose. Um, the other side effect against with this, again with this group is they can have leg cramps at night that can wake them up and they can have Charlie horse. And sometimes I have them drink tonic water, which will relax the muscles, and that will prevent the leg cramps. So these are side effects that you don't necessarily think of as being related to the medication, but can interfere with your quality of life. Well, and some of them you might think, like um, uh, nightmares in particular, you would think might be connected to the brain getting worse versus the medication. So that has to be a really hard thing to even manage if somebody's on them and gets them. Do they stay on the medication? Yes, if they have a lot of times if you just reduce the dose a little right. bit or you switch the medicine to right. the morning, that'll help to get rid of the nightmares. I've, I've not, in all these years, um, I've not had a patient stop taking the medication from nightmares. And um, I know you said there are a number of medications that are in this category. What are some of the names of them just so that people so know there's the, the, which ones? Um, there, the common ones are something called donapazole, mm -hmm. which the the trade name is um, Aricep, mm -hmm. um, there's Rivastigmine, there's Galantamine, um, there's the Exelon Patch, which is the trade name. Um, so those are the common are the ones. ones. And then for the other class, it's Memantine, and the, which is the only drug now available, and the trade name for that is Namenda. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, and you mentioned something about um, morning versus nighttime. So do you generally have your patients take their drugs in the morning? I try my darndest to make sure that my patients take all their medications, not just their mm -hmm. memory medications, right. once a day. Right. Because, you know, it's hard enough for us to remember things and to have to take pills several times mm -hmm. a day makes it much more difficult to remember to take them, even if you want to. Um, and it also, I think, medicalizes the person more because they have to carry the pills around. Right. So I try to make sure they take it at least once, you know, most for the most part, once a day, if possible. Right. And in general, do you think is morning in better general, in terms of minimizing side in effects? In general, it depends on the drug. Mm -hmm. um, I try to start them mostly in the morning and see how they tolerate it. Um, and then if sometimes they get fatigued from the medication, in which case we move it to the night. Gotcha. And you yeah. also said an important thing that I think is so important for everybody to to double check with their doctors on, which is to start on as low a doses of anything yes. as possible, mm -hmm. always. Yeah. All right. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you like what you just saw, come to our website. We have many more videos with Dr. Devi. 
You can buy her book too, The Spectrum of Hope. Here's mine. It's all dog-eared because there's so much important information in it about the, the new learning and understanding about Alzheimer's. And do me a favor. Do that social thing. Let other people know about these very important videos. Come to our website, bottomlineinc.com. 